Hey guys, so it looks like Christmas came a little early for us this year. We've decided to upgrade to the Audio-Technica ATLP120. And today I'm going to go ahead and just give you guys a quick review of this turntable. So, looking at it, I mean, obviously we can see that it resembles, I mean, practically an exact replica of the Technics SL1200. And a somewhat close uh, resemblance of the Newmark TT250. I'm going to move this a little forward here to get this dust cover off because these tension brackets are really strong on the back. So I'm just going to set that down. And these can be removed, but it's not as easily removable as the LP60. Just had to do that real quick. So basically, I guess starting off, um, underneath our slip mat, we have another um, aluminum platter, which is really nice. And underneath, um, initially, whenever you're just getting this turntable out of the box, there's a voltage selector underneath that you just have to make sure that you're set properly for whichever region you're in. But um, yeah, that was actually very simple and the platter just went on to the turntable and from there since it's a direct drive turntable not a belt driven it was easy to just make sure that that was taken care of assembly is really minimal with this thing and you're really just set to go at that point so looking at this here we have our on and off LED uh, strobe light <coughs> so that we can properly make sure that the pitch is set um, for the turntable. We have power and then speed for uh, our LPs, 33 and 45, and you can also go to 78 for this one. We have our target light, so whenever you're putting the tone arm down, uh, you can see where you're setting it. That's kind of a nice little feature. And then over here we have pitch adjustment and we have a quartz lock for the pitch so that if you were to uh, be playing a regular LP and you had bumped it at all you can set the quartz lock and it'll return to absolute zero every time and so you can move it around you don't have to worry about the pitch at all and the pitch slider is actually pretty nice because when you move it um, you can see the red light when you change this, but then whenever it goes back to zero, it actually locks in a little bit, which is really nice. And you can feel that. It's, it actually works pretty well. And then down here, we have a, um, a extension of pitch from 10 and 20% up and down, uh, which is actually nice because that's uh, not a feature that comes on the Technics, and it is actually one of the features that you get on this turntable, which is pretty nice. The turntable itself is um, an ABS plastic shell, so it's actually it's actually pretty nice. Uh, but there is quite a bit of metal in this one, versus like other um, turntables that you would normally have. See here we have our 45 adapter, and this is made of a die cast aluminum, so this is pretty nice. It's an upgrade from plastic for sure. Up here for the tone arm assembly, we have height adjustment right here. We have a lock back here for the height adjustment. We have counterweight adjustment. We have anti-skate adjustment. And then we also have a Q lever. And so if we take a look at this, this is uh, one of the things I really like about the Audio-Technica LP120 is the torque in this motor is just awesome. So you can start it up and as it's going you can hit stop and it's just immediate. I mean, there's there's no delay in this thing, which is just awesome. So when we run it, we can start at 33, we have 45, or if we decide to hit both, we get 78. And we also, while we play, we have reverse. So you can go forward or backward. One of the really nice things um, about the fact that we can go up to 78 RPMs is if you have one of those older Shalik records, 
uh, you could actually put one of those on and um, switch out from the standard uh, 0.7 mil stylus and switch over to a 3 mil stylus and then you could play one of those old records um, at 78 RPMs with no problem on this turntable. Some of those older records have actually gone up to 80 RPMs and if that's the case you could select 78 RPMs and then you could move your pitch adjustment up a little bit if you actually wanted to play one of those at an even faster speed. And then for the tone arm, the cartridge is the AT95E, uh, which is a considerable upgrade from the ATP2, uh, which was the previous um, cartridge uh, head shell that they had for this thing. And that one required that you run the tracking force between 3.5 and, and 5 grams, which is just insane. This one's much nicer because it requires just, I think it's one and a half to two and a half grams, which is much better. And up here on the top, we have a, um, a little container that we can actually put the head shell into. If we want to take, if we have any extras of the cartridges available, you can just set them down in here. It'll actually go down inside the turntable and it'll kind of just sit propped up, which is kind of a nice little added feature. But yeah, so, <clears throat> You know, because of the fact that it's fully manual, you'll cue everything up yourself. Um, it doesn't automatically start. When the tone arm gets to the end, there is no automatic return like the LP60. But that's to be expected with a turntable like this. So at this point, I can go ahead and I'll cue up um, a record and we'll just kind of let you see what it looks like. All right, and with the LP in place, I will go ahead and cue it up for you guys. Just place cartridge, and then we lower the cue lever. So as you can see, we have um, a much better setup here with the S-curve tone arm. It's going to line up with the grooves on the LP a lot better and give us much better tracking. And then on the back of the turntable, we have our um, composite, our uh, RCA composite cables that are fixed to the tone or to the um, turntable. And basically, we can just plug those directly in to any other speakers or uh, DAC that we have. Um, I have mine set to line uh, since I'm not hooking it up to a phono preamp, but you have the switch on the back of the turntable if you want to do that. Since this is a USB turntable, it does have the USB, um, the output on the back, so if you want, you can use a USB to back up your LPs, but since I don't need to do that, I can just do it straight from the RCA cables. I'm probably not even going to use the USB. But yeah, I mean, in a nutshell, that's this turntable. So I mean, uh, if you guys have any other questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. I'd be happy to answer anything uh, that I can. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks.